Well, you know, I, I think I've droned on long enough. I just heard what happened. I wanted to offer my condolences to the team. Quark's loss is a true tragedy. The man was a hero. Brave, honest, kind, and humble to the core. <laughs> what a load of bullsh. Alright, that was the Master in 347 for which the final bonus video of Final Fantasy VIII. Because there's no point in me doing that in the final boss. <laughs> But I do just love commentary to actually talk about preparations as well as the battle itself with Omega Weapon, who makes Ultra Weapon like a piece of cake. <laughs> so, for starters, with our junctions, you're going to run as much strength as possible, and the other stats also um, need to be a pretty decent level. Vitality and, and Spirit are pretty good as well, but you want a lot of speed, that's the trick. You see, Omega is actually very fast. <laughs> really, really fast. You can go through the attacks super quickly, which is why I also want all the auto haste. Similarly, I had a few changes, like uh, I had uh, Spring Time 60 as well to help me out for the spirit and stuff. Oh, I'll encounter none. Don't worry. That was just to help me get to him in time without any random encounters. But later on, I think I might put that on. Let's see. Hmm. I think for that and spirit, because he only has like two physical attacks, his regular physical attack, and his one physical attack which means guarantees to kill you, but uh, his magic attacks can be pretty annoying. <laughs> but basically the thing about Omega Weapon is that his attacks are actually attacks in the pattern, and if you know exactly how to deal with each of the attacks in pattern, you should be just fine. First of all, you need 9999 HP, there is no getting around this. He has one attack called Amigo Pegido Flame, which does 9,998 damage. I always thought it would reduce HP to 1. No, it is exactly 9,998 damage. So you need the maximum HP to survive that. <laughs> but the one attack which is pretty much the absolute killer is his Terror Break. Where he shoots 16 physical hits at random targets for at least 4,000 points of damage each. You can half the damage by using protecting zombie on yourselves, or you can nullify all damage with defend command. Of course, you can only get two defend commands this game and no more. So unfortunately, Squall, my main attacker, is going to get killed. You see, Christie's and Irvine are going to be my main uh, healers, while Squall's going to do most of the damage. Maybe Irvine from time to time is going to attack if I get a chance. Also, he always starts the fight with level five death. If your levels are not multiple of five then this attack won't hurt you. But if it is, like, say if you're level 55 or 60, what you want to do is... Oh, sorry. You want to go to your magic, go to stat effects, and junction 100 deaths. This will nullify the level 5 death um, spell. If you are, like, say, level 100. <laughs> so that's how you get around that. It's pretty simple, really. <laughs> Also, I had revive, so I can instantly revive some back to full health and base recover for just in case. Items, you're gonna want some Phoenix Downs. Mega Nix is the most important thing. And Mega Phoenixes, just in case. This is where I actually start using Khan Mod and some of my player cards. I use Accelerator to get for auto haste. I managed to get one more extra strength boost. I use my Rosetta Stones, yes. I actually got another Rosetta Stone. There's actually a hidden Rosetta Stone in Ultimisia Castle. Basically, you just need to get the uh, water key, the uh, fountain key of the water with it, uh, which drains all the water. Then you need to p press all the way to one to that peak at that all pipe walk into like a secret door, and then you can actually get the Rosetta Stone. I've been in the description about it, but with it, I managed to get ability times four of all my characters. Because Bahama comes with ability times four, only a two Rosetta Stones. So yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> But yeah, if you do have cards with players with certain abilities that you want, don't be afraid to use them now. Because remember, once you have the star of all the cards, even if you don't have the card anymore, there's still a star on there. It's just, it's, it's just greyed out. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going all out now. I use my hammer guy to get to 100 mega mixes. You really want to fully heal yourself as soon as possible. A few mega feats didn't hurt either. I managed to mug them only from an earlier boss, but I think you can mug them as well. And obviously, you're gonna want Squall's Nine Heart. Yes, it's be crazy not to have that at this point. <laughs> but to get to a Mega Weapon, you need to do a few things. 
you need to separate your party. You notice there is a a bell which you have to ring. Well, once you ring it, a mega will appear, which you only ever need to get to him. So this is where the switch pie comes in. So now I'm going to uh, switch back to my other pie. Switch to the other pie. And they're going to ring the bell. Right here. Hit. Cancel. Come on, ring it. There we go. Once it's going to be her walling far away. So now what we've got to do, we have to get to there today in under a minute. It's impossible to get from here to here just running. So, switch to the other party. Alright, there we go. And Omega is in, the, in this next room right here. This is how you do it. Pretty simple, really. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to quickly uh, switch. Junction, okay, uh, Christie's, Abilities, uh, Counting On. Uh, vitality, why not? not. Alright, 10 seconds, that's all enough time. Need to touch his tail to after the boss fight. And it begins. Ooh. And just like of Omega, with all the other horses, you can use a meltdown on him. But it doesn't always hit, which is why I'm going to improvise and do something else. I'm gonna summon Doom Train! Oh, level 5 death, it's begun. Then I'm gonna use my aura and scroll. I have a recover just in case. Oh, and here's Meteor. It's going to do a lot of damage. Yeah. Ouch. That's how I want to be a high spirit. Runaway train. This is guaranteed to hit all side effects, including Meltdown. Hopefully. I've never done this fight before. Well, I have, but I believe last. So, let's see how it goes. Because I haven't actually seen it much summons in this game. So I figured, what the hell. And you see, it's pretty quick. This is why I want to auto pace with certain high speeds to keep up with it. Okay then. Next, he's going to be using the uh, Megiddo Flame. That's why I went to that Mega Mixer, so that I can activate it in time. Yeah, he absorbs all elements too. Yes! There we are! Make sure it's a maximum HP. And Renzo Kukin to help me out. Pray that he uses Lionheart. And AP shot. That would do. Help the damage. There we are. Ooh. Alright, there we go. Oh yeah. And waiting to reuse his Megiddo flame. And also, have someone on standby just in case. Gotta be careful here. There we go. Uh, 
Come on, are you gonna use it yet? Jeez. It's not using it as quickly as it usually does. There you are. Just gonna keep doing the damage. Just in case. Oh, there it is. Okay, now after this turn, you just terror break. There's a lot of damage. Okay, time to defend. 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 There we are. Cast all on yourself, scroll. Basically, you know, that's to defend that way. Uh, defend that pretty much makes all the guys do like zero damage. This is why I have defend on. Unfortunately, this is where scroll's gonna die. This is why I also have revive as well. And that's a precaution. Oh. oh no, it's Gravija next. That was it. It's Gravija followed by. <sighs> Terrorbreak, I forgot. Oh, it doesn't matter. I just keep on defend anyway. Oh, now he's using it. See? He did straight of attack right in the way. But because I have my defenses up, I should be just fine. Yeah, Skull's gonna die. But because I have guards, I should be able to protect myself. And the Mega Mixer. Oh! There. Then what happens is he's gonna use Ultima, which does quite a bit of damage. And then Light Pillar, that only kills one enemy. And then lastly, then you take right back to Mewtwo again. Again, it's in certain order. This is how this fight works. That's why I got so many Mega Mixers. Don't be afraid to go out, guys. It's just, you know. Alright then. It should be a bit safe for the moment. So. Let's hope I get to use nine hearts soon. Come on. Menzo Kuke. Yeah, don't be impatient and stuff. Rain to use certain attacks so that way you can predict his movements. But if you don't, you could but you get you could get his turn out of order and stuff and then well that's when all hell breaks loose. So remember what attack you're gonna use and what order you're gonna use it. And that's it should be fine. Yes, Lion Heart! That's exactly what I wanted. Hmm. Let's try a pole shot. Oh yeah, let's do it! This is what you want, Lion Heart. I've got revive in my. I put revive one of my enemy allies have defense that they can easily revive scroll with full HP. Ooh! Ooh, he has barely even used any attacks yet. Not like complaining. Hyper shot! Let's try this move, this. Whoa! Ooh! There's a lot of damage. Uh oh. Can't put my oil back on. Yeah, you see the fact that we have auto haste and our natural speed. Couldn't have much time to actually do much of anything. It means you can calm down, relax, and wait to see what we use next. See, I haven't even used auto in quite a while. Oh, now he's using it. Get my Mega Mix already. Yeah, I, I can go nuts. Just use them as you want, guys. Go nuts. With the Hammer guy, you get 100 Mega Dixes. So, yeah, I'm going to use as many as I want. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. You can also draw 
ultimate from him if that's what you want. Good. Nah, I didn't do that. You can if you want to. <laughs> Let's try the fast shot. Quick shot, eh? Alright. Quick shot, let's see. I can eat super quick. There we go. Try a demolition shot. Lasting zone. Oh wait, I can just use recover. Yeah, you know, I don't need to waste a mega it's just one person. But yeah, I'm only making this fight look easy because of what the approach you have to do. You have to be careful. Now he's used now he's used ultimate, he used light pair next. Which of you seen my kind of ultimate weapon, it's guaranteed one shot kill. So Get your phoenix down, the revive, ready, whatever. You know what? This guy can't the shot. Yeah. Alright, and let's heal you up. Oh, light pillar. Who's he gonna hit? Oh, scroll. There we are. Hit that. Alright, now Alvin's gonna go back to uh, Meteor again. So he's gonna start using that now. Let's see, explosion. Here we are. Put that back on you, scroll. Explosion fully restores all your health to one person, so might as well. You'll be able to use your old stones as well, but that's the alternative. Alright, let's put in a mega elixir. I probably should have, I should have organized these a bit more beforehand actually. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so next is going to be using... Yep, Megiddo Flame. So yeah, we've got that Mega Mix already. Don't worry though, when you count as, when you use Gravija after Megiddo Flame, Gravija doesn't kill you, there's a certain amount of damage, like percentage. That's how that works. So don't worry about it if um you have one HP into the Gravija. It's not gonna kill you. Alright, canister shot. Ooh, this guy could take a while. I think how much health he has and the levels. So. This thing though could take a lot some time. But just remember the all these in, you should be okay. So let's divide. And come on. Let me take another one of those uh <laughs> 
Okay. Whoa! What the? Are you serious? Huh. I I didn't even know Gilgamesh could come in in the middle of this fight. It's all boss fights then. This is completely random. This was not planned. Well, let me see what he can do. Mass immune. Whoa, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> oh, Megiddo Flame. There we go. Yeah, it's annoying when it comes to Irvine's Nuke Break, because only the time is super slow, when it's super fast, it depends. There, got you. Hmm. Alright, what the hell. Your HP's there. Alright, have you defend, just in case. As a extra precaution. Oh, Gravija. Oh, whoops! Uh, I meant to scroll to do that. Oh, it doesn't matter. I still have one person on the fence, and I had to use Max, so that's the important thing. So he's going to be using his Terra Break soon. Nah, I never left the Vide. I was really hoping this one would be the Lionheart. It's a bit luck based when you use it. I just used it once. Oh wait! I got him! Yes! Oh yeah! Got him! Oh yeah! <laughs> Whoa! That's a lot of AP. And there we go. With that, he is now defeated. And actually, if you go to tutorials, uh, I think it's somewhere in information. Ah, here we go. You get this. Proof of Omega. Congratulations, you defeated the world's strongest monster, Omega Weapon, in Ultimate, in Ultimate Sugata. You are the finest fighter in the world. <laughs> yeah, you get that for beating him. <laughs> As proof, he actually done it. But yeah, I made that fight look easy because I knew exactly what I was going to do next. Well, for the most part, I forgot about the Gravita with the Amiga Begido Flame. Yeah, but Amiga Do Flame is the worst one besides um, Terra Break because. It does exactly 999 HP, so if I had less of that, it pretty much just one shot my entire party. So you need a max HP for that. <laughs> and that's why I defend for my two other party members, so that way, uh, when you use um, Terra Break, it only killed basically, well, one party member, which is Scroll, my main attacker. Only I don't find it help with the damage from time to time, increases the stair for backup for extra healing. 
you can do this in any order you want. I mean, whoever you want to use. You have to use Squall, you can use Zell, you know, a selfie. In fact, selfie is limit break, so it limit break randomly shuffle called the end, which instant kills like everything. Which including actually use a mega weapon. But don't don't count on that, it's completely random and <laughs> by chance. <laughs> but yeah, I, I didn't think um Gilgamesh was going to appear <laughs> during that fight at all, so that was completely random. But the swords are using like uh, swords are actually random. So you use Maximine, some might use Excalibur, which only does like one damage. <laughs> so you know. <laughs> but yep, there we are. Uh, that's about it now, to be honest. Uh, next time will be the finale where I take on the final boss, Ultimicia herself. <laughs> so but I hope you guys enjoyed uh, these bonus videos I did of Final T8. Comment below if you enjoyed them. Oh, I actually did it. <laughs> I beat a mega weapon. I never did it before. Awesome. <laughs> but that is Master 347. Any thoughts to the platformer? Stay classy.